What's up guys, Astrax here. Today I'm gonna to be bringing you guys another short video. Today I'm gonna to show you guys the top four easy outfits to make for your male character in GTA Online. So we're gonna go ahead and start with this outfit that I'm wearing right here, and we're gonna go ahead and get the black joggers first. So to get the black joggers, you're gonna to wanna to pull up your interaction menu, go ahead and go to services, go to mobile operations center, and request your MOC. After you do request your MOC, you're then gonna to wanna to go ahead and hit pause, Wait for it to spawn on the map. Mine's going to spawn right here. Whenever it does spawn in on the map, you're then going to want to go ahead and just go to the back of your MOC. After you do get inside your MOC, you're going to want to go ahead and go to the jobs inside your MOC. So it's going to say access mobile operations. After you are here, go ahead and hit right on the D-pad, log in, and scroll down to the bottom. And we're going to be using the work dispute so we can get the black jogger. So just go ahead and launch this job. And after you do launch this job, you guys will need a friend to help you out. And after you guys have a friend loaded in that can help you out, you can just go ahead and start the job. And for the difficulty, make sure you do set it to easy so then you guys do have more lives. But I'll just get back to you whenever I do load into the job. Once you load into the job, if you guys are the first player, which is the host, you guys will begin the black joggers. But if you're the second player, you're going to be getting the red joggers. Whenever you guys fully load in, just go ahead and head to your apartment. When you do get to your apartment, just letting you guys know, if you guys are new to this, you guys cannot see your apartment on the map, so you will have to remember where your apartment is at. So whenever you are at your apartment, go ahead and walk up to the blue circle, and you're going to want to go ahead and blow yourself up. You can use a rocket or a sticky bomb. So whenever, once you're in the blue circle, just blow yourself up. And after you do load back into the session, go ahead and just walk into your apartment. Whenever you're here inside your apartment, go ahead and go down to the changing clothes section. Whenever you're here inside the closet, just go ahead and scroll down to your accessories and you're just going to want to change one part of your outfit. So just change the gloves or you can change the shoes. But since I'm just going to go ahead and change the shoes, head to your accessories, scroll down to gloves, and you can just put on any pair of gloves that you guys want. After you do equip the gloves that you guys do like with the, with the outfit, it really doesn't matter. But just go ahead and save this outfit on any slot. After you do save the outfit, you can now back, up, back out of the closet. Go ahead and you can now pull up your phone and just leave the job from your phone. When you do load back into a public session with the black joggers, you can go ahead and head to the clothing store so we can go ahead and do the outfit that you guys see in the thumbnail. For the first outfit, whenever you do get the black joggers, you're going to want to head over here to the diamond casino. Once you do get to the diamond casino, you're then going to want to walk over here to your tops, scroll down to hoodies, which will be on slot 9, and you're going to look for the blue bigness waterproof, which is on slot 38. After you do equip the blue bigness waterproof, you can then just go ahead and back out of your tops. And now we're going to head over here to a normal clothing store for the rest of the outfit. When you do get to the clothing store and you are wearing the black joggers and the hoodie, all you want to do is now walk over here to your accessories, scroll down to gloves, which will be on slot seven. And you're going to equip the black woolen gloves, which will be on slot 58. After you do equip the black woolen gloves, you can now back out of your accessories. We're now going to want to walk over here to our tops. Go ahead and scroll down to utility vest, which is on slot 53, and you're going to equip the black and blue straps vest, which is on slot 8. Once you do equip this utility vest, you can then just back out, head over here to your shoes, scroll down to the bottom where you find arena war shoes, which will be on slot 14, and you're going to look for the black and blue light ups, which will be on slot 40. After you have equipped these arena war shoes, you can then just back out, and now for the hat, walk over here to the hats. Scroll down to, I believe it's going to be caps forward, which will be right here on slot four. And you're going to look for the black bigness cap, which is on slot 43 and go ahead and buy this hat. After you do buy this caps forward, you can then just back on the hats. Now for the glasses, just head over here to the glasses, scroll down to sports glasses, click on sports glasses and look for the grayscale urban ski, which will be on slot 25. Once you have equipped the grayscale urban ski, you should see that they do they do combine with the hat. Now you can just back out of the glasses. And now for this outfit, we're going to head over here to the mask store. After you've gotten to the mask store, just walk over here to the mask. Scroll down to Diamond Casino Heist, which will be on slot 6. And you're going to buy and equip the Cyan Leaf, the Leather Half Face, which will be on slot 55. After you've bought this Diamond Casino mask, 
you can now just back out of the mask door. And now for this outfit, we're gonna head over here to the pier so we can do the telescope glitch and merge the glasses and the hat with this mask. Whenever you do find a telescope on the pier, all you wanna do is the telescope glitch. So go and run past telescope like this, hit right on the D-pad, you'll see that your character runs in place, then looks towards the telescope. Your character's mask won't come off anymore. With the recent update, your mask doesn't come off anymore. So now you can pull up your interaction menu, go ahead and go to style, go to your accessories, scroll down to your hats and just scroll through your hats until you do find the forward bigness cap. After you have found the black bigness cap, you can then put away your interaction menu. You'll see that your mask does disappear once you are scrolling through your hats, but you guys don't have to worry. Just walk away from the telescope and you will see that the mask and hat combine together just like this. So now we're going to go ahead and merge the sports glasses. All you want to do is the telescope glitch again. So run past telescope, hit right on the D-pad, your character will run in place, then looks towards the telescope. And then that's how you guys know that you're glitched. Now pull up your interaction menu. You'll see that your mask and hat don't come off anymore. Just like I said, with the recent update, your mask and your hat don't come off anymore with your outfit once you do the telescope glitch. Now pull up your interaction menu, go to style, go to your accessories. Now just scroll through your glasses until you do find the grayscale urban ski. After you scroll through your glasses, you'll see that your mask does come off. You guys don't have to worry. Just put away your interaction menu. After you have found the glasses, walk away from the telescope and you will see that the glasses, the hat, and the mask all merge together just like this. Now for the final part, all you need to do is pull up your interaction menu, go ahead and go to style, scroll down to the bottom until you find hood, and whenever you're hovering over hood, just hit right on the D-pad once and you'll see that your hood lifts up just like this. Now all you need to do is just go ahead and go to the clothing store, save this outfit on whichever slot you want, and that's pretty much it. Just letting you guys know if you guys get in a motorcycle or if you guys do get on, or if you guys get on a motorcycle or if you guys do get in a car, your hoodie will come off and for some reason it just stays off. So you have to either go ahead and pull up your interaction menu, go to style and just put your hoodie up through the interaction menu. Or if you already do have it saved, you can just go ahead and just go to your outfits and then equip it again and your hood will be back on your character. I don't know why the hood does come off. That's uh, you, there's no way you guys can prevent that, but yeah, that's pretty much it. After you have saved the outfit, now we can move on to the second outfit. Now with the second outfit that I'm going to show you on how to make, for this outfit, once you are back at the clothing store, just head over here to your tops, scroll down to suit jackets, which will be on slot 3, and you're going to equip the black tailcoat on slot 38. After you've equipped the black tailcoat, you can then just back out of suit jackets, scroll down until you find suit vest, which will be on slot 51, click on suit vest, and you're going to look for the sub, sub tool blue suit vest, which is on slot 11. After you do equip the sub tool blue suit vest, you can then just go ahead and back out of your tops, head over here to your pants. Whenever you do get to the pants, just click on jeans, which will be on slot 1, and equip the black fitted on slot 56. After you have equipped the black fitted jeans, you can then just back out of your pants, head over here to your accessories, scroll down to scarfs, which will be on slot three, and equip the white scarf, which will be all the way at the bottom on slot 16. After you did equip the white scarf, you can then just back out, go to gloves, which will be on slot seven, and equip the white cotton gloves on slot 53. After you have equipped the white cotton gloves and the white scarf, that'll be it for the accessories. So now you can back out of your accessories, head over here to your shoes, Scroll down to slip-ons, which will be on slot 12, and just look for the white canvas slip-ons, which will be on slot 9. If you guys don't like these, you guys can go ahead and go to sport shoes. And for some reason, I don't know why Rockstar fixed it, or they didn't really fix it, they ruined it. And you guys can see that the socks go over your uh, jeans now. So if you guys like these all-white sport shoes and you guys want to go ahead and use it, you guys can go ahead and do that, but I'm using the white slip-ons. So after you do have the shoes you do want, you can then just back out, head over here to your hats, go ahead and look for tribbles. Whenever you find tribbles, which will be on slot eight, you're gonna buy the black top hat on slot 37. And once you did buy the black top hat, you can now back out of your hats. And for this outfit, we're gonna head over here to the mask store. Once you do get to the mask store, just walk over here to the mask, scroll down to crime, which will be on slot nine, and look for the black face bandana, which is on slot 66. After you do equip the black face bandana, you can then just back out of the mask door, head over here to the hats, which will be right here, scroll down to tribbles on slot eight, and equip the black top hat on slot 37. Once you do equip the black top hat, you'll see that the glasses are still on your character. So head over here, back to the clothing store. 
When you get back to the clothing store, just walk over here to the glasses, click on any selections of glasses, it doesn't matter, and just put on no glasses, which will be on slot one. And once you do that, you'll see that the glasses come off. Now for the final part, which is gonna be the parachute, all you need to do now is pull up your interaction menu, go ahead and go to style, go to your parachute, set your parachute to on, and set it to the black combat shoe bag. If you don't have the black combat shoe bag, all you need to do is just go to the gun store, go up to the front counter, go to parachute, go to parachute bags, and then look for the black combat shoe bag. After you do buy the black combat shoe bag, you can then back out of the front counter, pull up your interaction menu, go to style, go to your parachute, and set it to on, and it should already be set to the black combat shoe bag. And this is what your outfit will look like whenever you're done. So now you can just walk up here to the front counter, hit edit saved outfits, and save this outfit on whichever slot you want. Now that you did save the outfit, we can move on to the third outfit. So for the third outfit, you're just going to want to walk over here to your tops once again. Scroll down until you find designer hoodies, which will be on slot 37, and look for the white pullover hoodie on slot 24. Once you do equip the, the white pullover hoodie, you can now back out of the designer hoodies. Scroll down to utility vest, which, which will be on slot 53, and equip the ice plate carrier on slot 50. After you do equip the white pullover hoodie and the white ice plate carrier, you can now back out of your tops, head over here to your pants. Now for the pants, scroll down to leather pants, which will be on slot 11, and look for the white leather low crotch jeans on slot 23. Once you do equip these leather pants, you can now back out of your pants section, head over here to your accessories, scroll down to gloves, which will be on slot 7, and equip the white armored on slot 6. And that's pretty much it for the accessories. So after you do have the white armored gloves, back out of your accessories, head over here to your shoes, scroll down until you do find boots, which will actually be on slot one. And you're gonna look for the white work boots on slot 59. After you do equip the white work boots, you can then back out of your shoes, head over here to your hats, scroll down to diamond casino heist, which will be on slot 26, and look for the light gray forwards cap on slot 51 and after you do equip the light gray forwards cap that'll be it for the hats head over here to the glasses scroll down to sports glasses click on sports glasses and look for the grayscale urban ski on slot 25 once you have bought the grayscale urban ski you can then back out and now for this outfit we're going to head over here to the mask store when you are at the mask store just walk over here to the mask scroll down to ski mask on slot 19 and look for the white tight ski on slot 112. After you do equip the white tight ski, your goggles and your hat will come off. Now we're gonna head over here to the pier so we can do the telescope glitch and merge the goggles and hat with the mask. Now that you are at a telescope on the pier, all you wanna do is the telescope glitch. So go and run past telescope like this, hit right on the D-pad. You'll see that your character runs in place, then looks towards the telescope just like this. Now pull up your interaction menu, go ahead and go to style, go to your accessories, scroll down to your hats and scroll through your hats until you do find the light gray forwards cap. Once you have found the light gray forwards cap, you'll see that whenever you're scrolling through the hats that your mask does disappear, but you guys don't have to worry. Back out of your interaction menu all the way, walk away from the telescope and you will see that the hat and mask merge together just like this. Now for the goggles, all you wanna do is the telescope glitch again. So run past telescope, you'll see that your character runs in place then looks towards the telescope. I'll tell you guys now that you're glitched with the telescope glitch. Now pull up your interaction menu. With the recent update, you'll see that your mask and your hat don't come off either, so you guys don't have to worry about that. You guys are glitched. So now, when, once your interaction menu is up, go to style, go to your accessories, scroll down to glasses, and just scroll through your glasses until you do find the grayscale urban ski. Once you do find the grayscale urban ski, you'll see that your mask comes off again. Pull, put away your interaction menu, walk away from the telescope, and you will see that the goggles, the hat, and the mask merge all together just like this. Now for the final part, pull up your interaction menu, go to style, go to hood. Once you are hovering over hood, which will be on slot 17, just scroll one time to the right on your D-pad and you'll see that the hood comes up on your character just like this. And now that's pretty much it. Now you can just go to the clothing store and save this outfit. Just letting you know, if you do get on a motorcycle or if you do get in a car, your hood will be off. There's no way to prevent that, even if you do save the outfit. I don't know why Rockstar made it that way, but you just have to re-equip the hood every time you do get on a motorcycle, every time you get on a motorcycle or get out of a car. So that's the only downfall on these outfits. But yeah, that's pretty much it. So after you did save the outfit, we can now move on to the fourth outfit. 
For the fourth outfit that I'm going to show you on how to do today, for this outfit, once you do go back to the clothing store, head over here to your tops, go to designer hoodies, which will be right here on slot 37, and equip the black pullover hoodie on slot 37, on slot 27. Once you do equip the black pullover hoodie back out of designer hoodies, go ahead and scroll down to utility vest, which will be on slot 53, and look for the ice plate carrier on slot 50. Once you do equip the black pullover hoodie and the ice plate, you can now just back out of your tops, head over here to your pants. Now for the pants, just click on jeans, which will be on slot one, and look for the midnight camo fitted on slot 41. So after you have equipped the midnight camo fitted jeans, you can then just back out of your pants, head over here to your accessories, go ahead and go to gloves, which will be on slot seven, and equip the white cotton gloves on slot 53. You have equipped these gloves, you can now back out of your accessories, walk over here to your shoes, scroll down to running shoes, which will be on slot eight, and you can go ahead and equip the Ash Retro Runners, which will be on slot 12. Once you have equipped these shoes, you can now back out of your shoes, head over here to your hats, go to Diamond Casino Heist on slot 26, and look for the light gray forwards cap on slot 51. Once you find this hat, go ahead and equip it on your character, then you can back out the hats, walk over here to your glasses, scroll down to sports glasses, click on sports glasses, and equip the black outlaw goggles on slot 34. Once you do equip the black outlaw goggles, you can then back out of glasses. And now for this outfit, we're gonna head over here to the mask store. Now that you are at the mask store, once you do get to the mask store, go to Diamond Casino Heist on slot six, and you're gonna equip the stone leather half face on slot 44. If you guys don't have this mask, you guys will have to wear this mask while complete the Diamond Casino Heist. And if you guys don't wanna do that, then you guys can just go ahead and back out of Diamond Casino Heist you can go ahead and go to Ski Mask, which is on slot 19, and just equip the black tight ski, and then just equip the goggles later, and the hat, so then you guys can almost look like my, my outfit, but this, for me, I just like this mask better. But after you do equip this mask, now we're gonna head over here to the pier, so we can do the telescope glitch, and merge the goggles and the hat mask. Whenever you do get to the telescope on the pier, all you want to do is the telescope glitch. You're going to run past telescope like this, hit right on the D-pad. You'll see that your character runs in place and looks towards the telescope. Now pull up your interaction menu, go ahead and go to style, go to your accessories, scroll down to your hats, and scroll through your hats until you find the light gray forwards cap. Once you find the light gray forwards cap and you guys scroll through your hats, you'll see that your mask disappears, but you guys don't have to worry. Just put away your interaction menu. Walk away from the telescope and you will see that the mask and hat combine together just like this. So now for the goggles, we're just going to go ahead and do the telescope glitch again. So run past telescope like this, hit right on the D-pad. You'll see that your character runs in place, then looks towards the telescope and your mask and helmet or your mask and hat won't come off. Since the re with the recent update, for some reason, your mask and hat don't come off anymore. I don't know why whenever you do the telescope glitch, but you'll know that your glitch is whenever your character runs in place and then looks towards the telescope like this. Now, you can pull up your interaction menu, go ahead and go to style, go to your accessories, scroll through your glasses until you do find the black outlaw goggles. Whenever you do find the black outlaw goggles and you guys scroll through your goggles or your glasses, your mask will come off. Now you can put away your interaction menu, walk away from the telescope, and you will see that the hat, the goggles, and the mask combine all together just like this. Now for the final art, we're gonna go and do the hood. So for the hood, pull up your interaction menu, go to style, scroll down to the bottom, which will be on slot 17, and you should be hovering over hood. Once you're hovering over hood, all you need to do, it should be down, all you need to do is now press right on the D-pad once to set up your hood, just like this, and that's pretty much it. And that's pretty much it for this outfit. So now you can go to the clothing store, save this outfit on whichever slot you want. The only thing that sucks about these hoodie, this hooded outfit is whenever you do get on a motorcycle or if you do get in a car, your hood will be off. So to put your hood back on your character, you guys can't keep your hood on for some reason every time you get on or get in a vehicle. So you're just gonna have to re-equip it on your character. So to re-equip it, once you do save the outfit with your hoodie up, you can go ahead and go to your outfits and just re-equip that outfit. Or whenever you are on style, just go to hood and then just set your hood. If it is down, just set it to up, just like that. And that's all you guys need to do. But yeah, after you have saved the outfit, that's pretty much it for these four outfits. I hope you guys did enjoy these outfits. Please like and subscribe. Thank you guys for watching. Peace.